Welcome to my channel, everybody. This is Ryan Hall with Alaska Small Craft Adventures. Today, I am going to show you guys some of the top fishing spots here in Soldotna, Alaska. Right now, I'm standing above the Kenai River, as you can see down there. And I'm on a bridge on the Sterling Highway, and this is the main bridge that runs through Soldotna. And this place, this place probably has a thousand fish underneath of it at any given moment during this time of year. This this is the last day of June and the river's starting to fill up with sockeye salmon. And when they start filling up, it'll be it'll just be fins all the way across this river, you guys. But right now I am gonna take you down to uh, a couple of the top fishing spots that are the most easily accessible to anybody who's just trying to come up here and do a little bit of fishing or they just wanna do some sightseeing or just hang out on this river. Um, right here's the, the main highway coming from Anchorage. If you're coming down from Anchorage, you're going to be coming from that direction right there. And you're going to be heading towards Homer, which is out that way. You can see this fishing spot, you guys, right here. You just park at the visitor center right up there. And you just walk down this trail. And they've got these nice ramps installed and you can get all the way down to the river right down here and get on this boardwalk and they've got little tiny ramps right there stairways right down onto the riverbed all right welcome to this first spot you guys this is right below the kenai river bridge this is the main bridge in soldatna that we were just standing on and we were just standing right up there and right here is where you get to come catch your fish so this is spot number one. It's an awesome spot on the river. Gives you good access, not too fast water. When you guys bring your fish in, they've got little tables. Uh, it looks like there's some running water right here for uh, people wanting to clean up. And all this area right here just fills up with fish. All right, we are at one of the top spots to fish right here for access to the river, you guys. This is Centennial Park and Campground. This is a city park, and we did just start out right over here at the visitor center, and we're taking the scenic route right now um, down back along the river like this, and I'm showing you guys kind of these spots here. But you can access this campground over here this is the main entrance for driving into this and you guys would come all the way down to where the boat launch is at and there's restrooms and you could park down here and go fishing all along this bank right here well I'll tell you what have you guys ever seen such a vacant camp spot look at this the end of June and Centennial is basically vacant right now nobody's down here fishing i wonder what that is and maybe if we have an opportunity we'll be the first ones to catch a fish huh they've got to be coming through here right i don't know we'll check it out if you guys are towing a boat and you wanna put kayaks in or a raft in or something like that, you can come down to this little lagoon right here and put in right here on these. All right, out here at Rotary Park today, we're gonna check this spot out. Uh, basically nobody here. This is the last day of June. Nobody's, nobody's out, nobody's fishing. Nobody's testing the spots out. We are. And uh, we'll see if we can get hooked up on something down here, you guys. You never know, gotta get your line in. All right, headed down the trail to Rotary Park. This is the second park in my tour today. Man. 
there's two ways to go. You could go left or you can go right right here. The, uh, the left way is preferable for me for the spot I like to go fishing on. Um, for the, uh, you get down to that corner over there and you go right and then there's big staircase down to the river. Um, for the sake of this, I'm gonna go right and show you guys how you can get all the way to the river without any stairs. So let's go check it out. All right, this is the first spot you get to when you come down to Rotary if you take a right at the T and uh, instead of going left. If you take a right, you'll come all the way down to these boardwalks down here. It gives you nice, easy access to the river. Um, I'll take us back up over to the other side where you actually have to go down a flight of stairs to get to the island. Uh, and it's a little bit more difficult to get to, but it does seem to pay off some days. Uh, the fish are there, they're not here. Some days they're here, they're not there. So it's nice to know both spots. Rotary offers two different fishing spots. Um, one right here on this boardwalk that I'm on right now, and the other one down on the island. And I'll take you down there right now. Let's go check it out. All right, you guys, look, we made it down to the other spot. We are at the islands at Rotary. Not too many people down here right now, but I have seen some fish on. Super excited about that. I'm gonna peek around this corner to see when you bust out here, the spot down here on the left is where the fish start. And I don't see anybody down there. What are the chances? All right, we're gonna go down there and check out exactly where these fish start when they come into this spot. If you guys get down to Rotary, take a left at the T, go down the stairs, and once you hit the slough, the little slough of water um, at the bottom, cross that over to the first island on your left and walk to the downriver tip of it. Right here, this spot right here, you guys, this is one of the best fishing spots on this river by far. The way this water cools off right here, coming in here, boom. Fish, fish like to turn right there and it's deep. They'll pile, pile up right here first. Yeah, that spot right up there, guys, is where we uh, just came from. That's where all the ramps are at the upper end, upper river side of Rotary rotary uh, park and this spot down here at the southern tip is where it's at and if you guys recognize this spot it's from a video where i did a kenai river rig up and uh, i was just hanging out right here by this little slough and i'll put a link uh, to that video so you guys could see exactly how i'm rigging up and and uh, what i'm doing when i'm flipping out there catching these sockeye and, uh, man this spot's a super nice treat to be able to get all to myself on the last day of june um, Definitely loving that. I am fishing with a split shot right below my swivel. I have a, about a four foot long leader line and then I'm rocking the egg sucking leech, you guys. This, this fly right here, pretty much anything in Alaska will take this fly. So I'm gonna whip that thing out there a couple times and see if there's something in the water that we can look at. Ah, let's do it. Up with a rainbow 
These guys, uh, these guys love these egg sucking leeches, seriously though. Take a look at this little guy. Try for another one. Well, I am about to leave Rotary. Uh, nobody else came down to fish, so it was just my hook in the water down here. I did hook into two sockeye. One was fatty, but it was in the motor, so he took off down river. And I ended up with a rainbow trout. So um, the fishing was fair to decent, I'd say. Uh, I spent maybe an hour down here, um, but fish are on their way and you can bet we're gonna be here for them. I'm gonna take you over to that next park down there, all the way down there, guys, to uh, Swiftwater on the other side of the river and show you another spot that you can come down to and maybe get hooked up on a fish. Let's go. All right, we've made it to the third park on our travel today. We are at Swift Water Park, and this place is actually a campground too, so if you guys are trying to camp, spend some time out here, um, this is one of the top parks in town for sure. Uh, you guys wanna launch boats, kayaks, anything like that, you can do that. Uh, you got guys out here just doing a little paddling around on their pontoons, and check out the setting. Got an island out there. We can we can hike over to that and get some fishing done on that side, um, or head down these ramps. Uh, the boardwalks will take you all the way down onto the main river, and I'll show you guys what that looks like. Made it to our final and premier destination, Swiftwater Park. Uh, nobody fishing today. Nobody fishing. I don't know why, the trout fishing's outstanding right now. Um, the sockeye are coming in. I've hooked into my first Kenai sockeye this morning over at Rotary. And uh, man, this place is set. Look at that. Nobody, nobody down here enjoying it though. Check that place out. Oh, it's Melissa. Hey guys. <laughs> How's Melissa doing? All right. Out here enjoying the beautiful weather. Yeah, it sure is. Yeah. Sure is. It just got a whole lot prettier out here too. <laughs> <That's big>. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Not a problem. I'm just telling everyone about about this spot right here. Right over there off the tip of that island. That you can walk to up on top of that dam, down, get on top of that, come down here and fish. And uh, the water spins right here, and the fish want to run right up the center of that, and then around the outside of that right there. And uh, that is swift water. All right, looks like I found a map of this place, you guys. This is swift water and centennial. I showed you the centennial map already. But here's Swiftwater. Um, this is where we came in. Fred Meyer in town is back over here. You come in down this road right here. Here's the guard shack from getting in here. And we came all the way down this, this road here to the boat launch. And right here are those rocks that I was hanging out on. And here's the island. You could walk, you could walk over to this island right here and get on this thing and fish this side and this side right here and uh, fish off this right here. Down here's the lower landing that we were just down on. 
it gives you kind of an idea of the layout of this place and uh, what it actually has here. Um, all these are camp spots, so if you guys want to come grab one of those spots for July, I don't know if you can, it usually fills up pretty fast, but um, it's awesome here. I mean, look at, look at these, uh, these access points that this campground has. So I'm just, I'm just parked right here and you can, you can just simply pop on down to these spots like this. How gorgeous is this? There's your, there's your access to the river right there. So anyway, every, every one of these spots is ran by the city and you can get these uh, passes if you guys are here for a certain amount of time because it's like 10 bucks a day to get into each one of these parks. Right here are these uh, season passes you guys can get. Gets you into Centennial Rotary and Swiftwater and um, they're only 65 bucks. So grab one of those and end up with a huge savings if you're down here fishing all summer long. Um, it's a heck of a deal. They don't get you camping access, but they do get you day use. And it's totally worth it if you're just kind of bebopping around, checking out all the spots, but um, maybe you're interested in something like that. And it might save you a little bit of cash if you want to spend some more time down here on the river trying to get hooked up. Anyway, uh, thanks guys.